Hey everybody out there, welcome back to 91.8 The Fan. It is your favorite holiday-themed host, the DJ Christmas, and I have with me a very special guest. Would you like to introduce yourself to all the fans out there? Hi, this is uh, Rob Mungo, calling in from Houston, Texas. Great to be here. Well, it's nice to get the chance to talk to you. We've talked to a couple other people that uh, you've had the pleasure of working with. Uh, sometimes it's a little tougher to talk to some of the old ADV crowd because they don't really put their info out there. <laughs> yeah, we keep it pretty tight. We keep hidden pretty well, I think. But uh, who else have you spoken to? Yeah, and you know, once you know, I sort of get into that circle. You know, I talk to Maggie, I talk to Emily, and yeah. it's like, oh yeah, here's you know everybody else, and awesome. Yeah, I'm what's in the crowd. The crew we have here? Yeah, what's the cool little crew we have down here? And how exactly did you get started working with that whole crew? Um, well, I do stand-up comedy, and uh, I was performing, oh gosh, 20 years ago, I guess, at a club, and uh, one of the people from ADV happened to be in the audience, and uh, they were friends of a friend of mine, and they said, hey, you need to come down and audition, and I did, and I got a, a lead part uh, right out of the bag, and I've been doing it ever since. I never trained for it or anything, but I just uh, sort of had a knack for it. Well, that's actually pretty cool. Usually... We talk to voice actors. They've had their start, you know, in theater acting. But yeah. I, I, don't, I don't think we've had, you know, just a, a stand-up comedian. Then they go from that to voice acting. Yeah. Well, I did some radio uh, years before, a couple years before that, and uh, so I was used to being on the mic. Uh, but uh, they got me. They brought me in the studio. They said just, uh, just wing it, just play around with a few different voices, and I did, and uh, I've been doing it ever since. Now it's interesting because. One of my first experiences, it was actually the first anime DVD I ever bought, and it was one, it was just the whole ADV crew. It was Pony mm -hmm. Pony Dash, which probably isn't the best anime to start with, because right. it's it's so referential to other archetypes and series, and I didn't get any of the in-jokes, I just love the wacky craziness of it. It's, it's right. definitely a lot of fun, it doesn't take itself too seriously by any means. Yeah, those are the ones I like the best, the ones that are self-referential and uh, they have uh, they play around with the genre a little bit. Most of those are the ones I enjoy doing the best. Well, one of those that I've actually just started getting into uh, since it's on Netflix that you do a fairly decent job at just messing around is Excel Saga. Oh, yes. <laughs> the Pedro character. That's yeah. That's my favorite. It's it's definitely strange because you're not sure if you should be offended or not, but well, I'll tell you, I went to a, an anime con uh, a high school anime convention uh, in Dallas, I believe it was. They brought me up there for a, a speech. <laughs> Excuse me, and one of the kids that was meeting me there to show me around met me there, and he says, "Hey, I'm here to take you around." And I went, uh, "Okay, that's great." Uh, Takes to the room, and as we're walking, he says. Uh, you know, I'm a big fan of the Excel Saga and Pedro. And as a Hispanic uh, person, I thought you did a really good accent. And I said, well, actually, it's not even a Hispanic accent. It's actually a Greek accent that I kind of modified. It was a, there's a Greek waiter in a restaurant that I go to, and that's a, almost a dead-on impression of a Greek waiter. <laughs> but people, people just think, oh, yes, Pedro must be Hispanic. But no, it's, it's a Greek accent, actually, so. I always found that a little interesting. That's actually pretty neat. And I guess, you know, you're too busy feeling bad for the Pedro character. And it's like, oh, man, he's he's really got it rough. Yeah. <laughs> his wife <laughs> cheats on him with his best friend. Yeah. The will of the universe yeah. is trying to make out with him. And it's, it's, it's just strange. Yeah. It was, it was great. I went and told the waiter. I said, hey, I did an impression of you. And he said, what, what impression are you doing? And I said, that, pretty much that. That's what I was doing. <laughs> Just said, that. Oh, we'll have to check. I will look at this one day and see what this is about. So, <laughs> it's a show about nothing and everything yeah. at the same time. Yeah. <laughs> he, said, he said he couldn't find it. He goes, I looked at it. He said, I can't find this what you're looking for where I have my voice on. And I went, well, I'll get you a copy. So I ended up giving him a copy of it. Oh, well, that's definitely yeah. a lot of fun. He was, he was, uh, he was underwhelmed. <laughs> 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 60-year-old Greek immigrant, and he didn't really understand any of it, so it was lost on him. I can barely understand some of it, and I've been watching yeah. anime for years. Right. 
But on top of that, you've also been in a few recent things. I actually uh, have been watching the latest One Piece DVDs, and uh, mm-hmm. you play uh, a fairly influential character to one of the newest main characters, Tom. Yeah. Um, yeah, I don't. Uh, <laughs> I don't even really remember most of the stuff I've done. I've done so many of them that they all kind of fade into one. You have to remind me about it. <laughs> He's just this this giant half fish, half man, and he does he does everything with oh. us. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. I do remember that. Yeah, that's what that's what's funny. When I do the conventions or or speak to people about it, people will ask me about the different characters, and I'll say, "Listen, I don't even see these things until I get there. I'll I'll show up." And they'll have like six pages of scripts. So I don't even get to see the whole thing, so I, I have to do everything out of context. So you don't even—I don't even really know most of the stories that go on. I just have the scripts that are given to me because that's the way they do it. And so it's hard to get a, a grasp on the full story. And so it's, it, you kind of have to play with uh, what other actors have already done before you. If you're the first person to go in there, you really have very little to go on. And so you just have to kind of create the character as you see it. So that, that's what happens more often than not. And, you know, despite that, I still think you did a great job. He's, oh, he's I just, appreciate that. He just has a lot of fun, and the important thing is that you do everything with gusto. That's it's his <laughs> moral code. It's what he goes by. Right, right. you got to have gusto. Gusto in yeah. all things. Oh, yeah. I just did a, a – uh, they're, they're doing another series of that that I just recently did, and that should be coming out fairly, sure, fairly soon. Did that about a month ago. Oh well, I definitely definitely yeah. look forward to it. And I know Sentai Filmworks has been doing a lot of things recently, and uh, a lot of people have been getting a chance to get back into the studio after ADV shut down a few years ago. Yeah, they well, we went through a bunch of different changes over there, the different management and different uh, ownerships and stuff. But they're they're up and running pretty well now. They're, yeah. they're doing pretty good. And there's been all sorts of fun stuff, uh, Ungo, Dream Eater Mary, stuff like that. It's you know, stuff that I, I originally watched when it came out in Japan, and it's nice to see the different spin on it. Yeah. Well, I actually did something uh, about a month ago for them, and it's going gonna, it's gonna to be coming out in the next, uh, probably in the next few months, and I can't even talk about it. I'm not supposed to give the title. But it looks amazing. It's uh, it was probably one of the best things I've ever done in, in terms of uh, animation quality uh, and the, the time, the, the money they spent on the animation. Uh, it's probably one of the best looking things we've ever done. And that title's going to be coming out in a few months, so uh, I'd, I'd give you the title, but I'm not allowed to. <laughs> of course, we we get yeah. that quite a bit. It's like, oh yeah, all the stuff I've been doing, you know, the past couple weeks. Can't tell you about it for six months. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. Yeah, they make you sign uh, some uh, pretty thick contracts when you go in there. Yeah, sometimes it it gets a little silly, but you can sort of understand why they do it. They don't want to oh, yeah. have part everything of the out there. I mean, if yeah. everything out there was all at once, they wouldn't have any of these big announcements. And it's getting to be the big convention season, which is when they like to let a lot of this stuff out of the bag. Right, right. I know there's a big – they're planning to push for it uh, probably, probably in the next couple of months. So it should be by the end of summer. And uh, you mentioned that you've been to a couple conventions before. Do you have any plans for the future that you're heading to? Um, not as yet. Uh, I, I, my schedule is such that since I do comedy on the road quite a bit, um, I, my weekends are usually filled up working in clubs and whatnot. And so uh, oftentimes when I do do a convention, I have to line it up with uh, something I'm doing at a, if I'm working a week at a club and at a convention so that I can combine them, the two. So it's kind of difficult for me. I've only done a handful of them. Um, so it's kind of it's hard for me to work the schedule around. But I enjoy them every time I go. They're, they're an interesting, uh, interesting weekend. Yeah, they're definitely a lot of fun. I don't have any personally coming up uh, until uh, the end of October, but then I've got two within a week and a half of each other. It's... Uh, the yeah. week before Halloween and then the Halloween weekend, and it's just. Mm-hmm. It's, I went to it, one uh, in Kansas City a couple of years ago, and uh, it was interesting because they had a, they have the different uh, panels that you go and you speak on, and but one of the panels was uh, how to talk to girls. <laughs> 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 a panel set up for people to learn to date. And I got invited to that. <laughs> and that was the that was the biggest panel I've ever played for. There was probably oh anywhere from six to seven hundred people 
in that panel alone, just for that. And Sounds that like a pretty a, popular panel. It was a very, it was the most popular one, and uh, <laughs> I did my best <laughs> to try to impart some wisdom to the young folks. That sounds almost similar to a panel that we do when we go to conventions. It's how to talk to voice actors because... Oh, really? <laughs> yeah. As we see, there are a lot of fans out there that they don't yeah. exactly know the best way to approach the voices that they've heard. Is like, oh, yeah, mm-hmm. I watched this thing, uh, downloaded it illegally, watched it illegally <laughs> on YouTube. It was... You did a great job. Really, yeah, really thanks nice. Thanks for taking my money. Appreciate it. Yeah. Yeah. Thanks for not- Thanks for not spending any money on my career. Thank you. Yeah, it's, it's just by. It's, it's stuff like that, and we try to encourage people that e- even if you do do that sort of thing, you don't really want to admit that to someone's face. Yeah, yeah you probably shouldn't, uh, yeah, you probably shouldn't uh, make that one of your opening lines. Yeah. <laughs> That's totally hey, this stuff. is my impression okay. of you. I could totally do your job. Right, that, right. N- n- not, not a <laughs> home run on the first swing either. Uh, right. Here, here's a few examples of how you could start a conversation with a voice actor. Right. Well, I'll tell you the best the best way to do it is just to, you know, just come up to us and say, hey, you know, I really appreciate the work. It's been a lot of fun, brings me a lot of joy, and that's the easiest way to get around it. I found and the people who do that are the ones that I have the best conversations with. And one of the other things that I've been seeing too that voice actors really enjoy is if you say the phrase, "I had no idea this was you." Yeah. <laughs> I get well, what's funny is I get some people that'll say, "Hey, you know, you did something in uh, this, thing, and I'm not even in it." You know, <laughs> <laughs> and I really like you. They're like, "Oh, okay, that wasn't me, but appreciate it. Thank you." Which is easy, I suppose. To it would be it's easy to confuse when you don't see faces, you only hear voices. So yeah, yeah, but, especially uh, with yeah, a, a few select like voices. Yeah. yeah, back back when I first started watching, I would confuse a couple people all the time, and until I started to, you know develop the air for is like, oh okay, this mm-hmm. is this is not that person at all, actually. Mm-hmm. Hmm. Yeah, yeah. You know what I thought it's uh it's speaking of the conventions, what's funny is that uh I know a lot of the most of them when they the, the conventions will bring in the female actresses for obvious reasons because they're the right. better looking ones. And they get to go to all the conventions. And so I talk to these different girls, oh, yeah, I'm going to this convention. I was like, really? You got invited to that? I didn't even, oh, yeah, we got invited to all of them. I was like, oh, okay, I, I can see why. But, <laughs> Must yeah. be nice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, well, we'll get our turn. <laughs> One day. When will it going to be our time? Exactly. But, yeah, but I enjoy going to them. They're a lot of fun. I get to judge uh, the, the cosplays and stuff like that. And uh, the effort that's put into those is uh, staggering. I don't know. It's uh, really amazing some of the outfits that they are, they're able to come up with. Yeah, I have absolutely no creative skill for that sort of thing, so I'm always no. more impressed than a few other people. It's like, oh wow, I don't yeah. this this is a full body armor type of suit, and it looks completely flawless. How did you manage this? Wow. Right. I mean, I've seen the guys that'll show up in like the the Transformers. You know, they're able to go from the like Optimus Prime as a. Uh, as a as an eighteen wheeler into the standing robot version, and it's amazing how they're able to do it. I was like, how do you have the time and the logistics for that? Is it, it's it's amazing. And then the ones that they actually have them light up and stuff like that. It's, oh yeah, oh, it's yeah. crazy. People are crazy. Yeah. <laughs> People have a lot of time on their hands, and God bless them for it. It keeps me in business. Exactly. And yeah. now you said that you can't exactly talk about too many anime projects, but do you have any? Uh, comedy places that you're hitting up in the next couple of months? Um, actually, yeah, we've got, uh, I can't even talk about that, but we have a very, uh, I work with a group that's called uh, the Whiskey Brothers. It's myself and four of the comics out of Texas. And uh, we, have, uh, we have, we do a podcast each week. It's called, uh, at, it's available at praisewhiskey.com. But uh, and it's not safe for work. It's a little rough language. It's a lot of rough language, but uh, it's myself and four comics, and we have some big things that are happening in that probably in the next uh, two months. But I can't even talk about that, but things are moving up. Things are going good. Well, I will definitely have to look into that because I'm always looking for new podcasts to listen to while I'm yeah. at my work. Uh, I work... Phrasewhiskey.com. Yeah, I mean, you can imagine what it's like. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I, I work overnight at a gas station, and for those few hours where it's, you know, just me and... The, mm-hmm. the soda uh, yeah. I, I listen to the occasional podcasts and 
that can never have enough podcasts. So I will have yeah. to well, grab we have some. Of... Fun. We've got over uh, over two hundred episodes. We've done it for about two years now, and uh, it's it's pretty funny. I enjoy doing it. That's good. That's that's those are the best ones. The ones that you have fun while you're doing it. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and it's just my, like I said, it's myself and four other comics. We're sitting around, uh, you know, over a bottle of. Uh, of uh, whiskey and talking about the day's events and different stuff that's going on in our careers and stuff. So, and I would imagine it's a nice insight into comedy. Yeah, and I would imagine that anybody who listens to that podcast would be able to learn about any sort of your your upcoming performances. Oh yeah, oh, yeah absolutely. All right, sounds like and the best. In your, part, in your part of the woods is going to be in Houston, Texas this weekend. I'll be at the House of Blues. So, <laughs> oh, <laughs> I, I hear that you know there's a lot of great stuff always going down. At the Houston yeah. House Blues, um, and yeah, obviously I'm in I'm in New England, so I haven't had the right. chance to, you know, just let me just hop on down to Houston yeah. for the night. Just come catch a flight, come on down, it'll be a great show. Yeah, but for <laughs> for any of our our Texas listeners, I would definitely right. recommend that. It would there you go. be a lot of fun. Mm-hmm. But before we let you go, because you did mention that you have some automotive repairs to deal with uh, soon, yeah. so uh, yeah, we will have to deal with. We will keep this short for you, but before we let you go, we would like to have you participate in our 91.8 The Fan tradition. Okay. It's very simple. We just ask you to do a radio bump for us. A radio bump? Okay. I love those. I know. Me too. They're one of my favorite <laughs> things. We just ask you to say, hello, my name is, you insert your name, mm-hmm. I do this. You can say that you're a voice actor or a comedian, specific characters, whatever you want to put there. You have complete creative freedom. Okay. And you're tuned into 91.8 The Fan. All right, are you, you ready? Yep, when you're all set, we can go for a take one. All right, here we go. This is Rob Mungle from Houston, Texas. Voice anime actor, stand-up comedian, raconteur, provocateur. And you're listening to 98.1 The Fan. Very close, but like many a person before you have switched the numbers. Oh, right. Oh, it's 91.8. Ah, oh, blast. <laughs> if you want, you can just do the numbers and we will clip it all together and post. Okay, here we go. You ready? All right, here. And you're listening to 91.8, The Fan. There you go. Got it in two. Congratulations. Oh, oh outstanding. They call me One Take Mungo here in the anime studio, so I, I feel bad. I should have had that on the first one. Ah, uh, it's no problem. You haven't been the first, and you <laughs> certainly won't be the last. Uh, I- yeah. I can guarantee it. That's the one thing I usually do pretty well on the uh, when I'm doing the voice acting, except except when they have me read the actual Japanese cities or names. That's when I'm I am completely lost. Yeah. And I need a, I need I need help with that. Well, that's the other thing too. This is this was you know, just from memory. You don't have a script in front of you, so. Right. Right. But thank you very much for taking the time to come out and talk with us. Do you have any final words of wisdom for the listeners out there? No, oh, just keep watching anime, keep enjoying, uh, get out there and have fun, enjoy life, listen to PraiseWhiskey.com, it's a lot of fun, and keep buying the animes, I love doing them. So thanks for having me, it's, uh, it's great to meet you. Oh, it's nice to talk to you too, and for anybody who missed any of this interview, shame on you, but it will be up on the website within the next few days, so keep it tuned to 91.8 The Fan. Everything you want, and nothing you don't. <laughs>